Presented Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Bluffton, Bluffton High School, High School extends to all in attendance. A cordial welcome to this welcome evening's Northwest Allenies Conference Mustangs. football game Hello, between the Allenies Mustangs and your WSN Bluffton group. Pirates. And Darren. The so, athletes playing here are friendly rivals with members of the opposing team. All participants, spectators, and coaches are expected to act in a manner keeping with the ideals of good sportsmanship. Well, we're down to two undefeated teams left in the conference. After tonight, there's going to be one with a couple schools doing some chasing to try to get a piece of that pie. So it's going to be an interesting evening. Both these teams are coming in, winning, winners of their last four games. Take a look at the game at the first and the second half. They will kick into the south end zone in the kick for the Number yeah, you got Hershberger they can lean on, and also don't forget about the Hull brothers. They do some phenomenal things for that ball club, too, but there's no question that everything runs through Hershberger. And you take a look at the homestanding Pirates. They start the year out losing two of their first three, and my goodness, have they corrected everything since then. Yeah, they're on a roll right now, sitting 5-2 and two, heading into this game, ranked 16th in Division 5, Region 18, and Allen East is number four in Region 24, so... A lot of compu computer points up for grabs tonight for both ball clubs. The Pirates will kick off first. Back deep for Mustangs. Number eight, Joseph Hull. And number 18, that's Trey Hensley. Mustangs come in at 6-1, and 4-0 in the NWC. Had a big victory over Columbus Grove a couple weeks ago to take a commanding lead in the uh, Northwest Conference. And then all of a sudden, here comes Bluffton. And now we've got two leaders atop the leaderboard. Bluffton is 4-0 in the NWC, along with Allen East, 4-0 in the NWC. So we are just about underway here from Bluffton High School. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert on an absolutely beautiful, crisp fall night. <laughs> crisp, <laughs> crisp, yeah. We'll see here in about two hours if you say crisp or cold. Okay, well, I Darren and I agree with the, it's a, it's, it's a rather chilly night. Let's just call it that. There you go. From Darren, let's take a look. Our pregame keys tonight, presented by Lime East Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lime area, serving Lima for 100 years. We are proud to call his home. What do the Mustangs coming in on the road have to do to get a win tonight? They, they just got to play fundamental football on both sides of the ball, number one. Number two, their defense, they, they spotted. It's really good. Yeah. It's really good, and they have to. They have to put pressure on Bluffton, you know, being on the road and jump on them early. And then number three, I think you've got to use Hershberger with his legs and then open it up and throw the football. And here comes Hershberger around the left side. He's got five. He's got 10. He's got 15. He breaks away. He's at 25, 30. He gets all the way across midfield. And there you see it, Darren, the versatility of Jacob Hershberger. Yeah, he uh, he broke loose, got in the secondary, Jacob and was turned into a foot race. If Cruz doesn't get Cruzy, if he doesn't get him by the ankles, he's got him a touchdown on the first play. And let's take a look at the Bluffton Pirates, Darren. What are the keys for them to pull off what some would say would be an upset tonight? You've, 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 you've got to take and you, oh, look, apparently there's oh, a flag on the play. It's going to bring it back. Going to bring it all I the way back. I think for Bluffton, number one, you've got to get off to a good start. This is your home field. It's homecoming night. You've got Sounds to, like you've got to play back. fundamental all football, just like Allen East, uh, on both sides of the football. And, and, and you got to have a little bit of luck, you know what yeah, I'm absolutely, saying? I mean, absolutely. Both these teams coming in it, 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 with four-game winning streaks. But, uh, you know, they've just got to they've got to compete and get hat on hat with them and let the chips fall where they may. So here comes Hershberger in the gun. He's going to throw or he's going to fake the throw. He's going to bring it right up the middle again using his legs. He's going to pick up about six yards. Yeah, That's good bring job. Up Hershberger good job by carry. Bluffton defensively. Down by number one, Landon Shuttler. It's going to bring up second about and about four. Six on the play. Excuse me, seven brings up second and three. From the 37. Darren Allen East comes in offensively, averaging 38.2 a game. Defensively, they only give up 14.1 a game. Uh, they give up, or they go for about 135 in the air every night. They've had 11 touchdowns through the air, which is really impressive up to date. And they've had 23 rushing touchdowns. So very versatile, very balanced. Yes, club. it is. That last stop was by Shuttler. Nice job there, filling the gaps right there by Bluffton. And, and, appeared to be Mr. Bogart there on the stop and, for Bluffton. And you take a look, Number Darren, on the carry, at Allen East. They, they, they rush for 135 no a game. The, the, the Bluffton defense only gives up 165 rushing yards a game, which is pretty impressive to this point. Yeah, I looked at some of the stats, and, and they're very comparable, especially on the defensive side of the football. I think they're number one and two or two and three defensively in the league. Here comes Hershberger. He's in the gun. He's got hole to his left. He's got three receivers out to the right. 
Snap comes back, looks across the field, and takes it again. He's going up the middle, oh, and he's going to be surrounded by, by a host of Pirates. My goodness, Darren, that defensive front for Bluffton is very impressive on this drive. Yeah, stayed in their lanes, big stop Jacob there. Hershberger again on the carry, brought down by number 68, Xavier Lugenbill, brings up fourth. And that's going to bring Allen East into a punt line. situation. Xavier Lugenbill on the stop for Bluffton, a 6'2 senior. And this is, this, if you're Bluffton, this is what you want. You want to put him in a fourth down situation, make him kick the football. Brayton Jordan is back deep for Bluffton to receive the punt. Line drive punt. It's going to bounce at about the 30-yard line. Checked up, didn't it? Taken, picked up about the 32-yard line. That's where the Bluffton the Pirates will line. take over. Brings up a big first and 10. So 9.49 to go. Pirates. Still zeros on the scoreboard. Danny Obrick, Darren Gilbert from Bluffton High School. The Bluffton Pirates are going to be coming out. They'll be led by quarterback number eight, Garrett Bogart. On the season, he is 52 of 91 for 12 touchdowns. 174 rushing yards and three touchdowns. So very versatile. We got two great quarterbacks tonight. Oh, guys. absolutely. Very, ath very athletic. So running back Landon Worcester is in the backfield with him. Worcester has 519 yards. He's the primary back. Seven carry or seven touchdowns. Here comes Bogart as he's under heavy pressure. He's going to be no. He's going to get away from it. Oh no, he is taken down. Boy, that was everywhere, Darren. He was taken down, then he was away, then he was taken down, and finally yeah, they wanted the to throw. They wanted to throw. Here throw. Excuse me. The quick backfield. screen there, and it was Nine jumped defensively by oh, Allen East. He tried to get away as best as he could. From the 21. Unfortunately, Braylon Kimmett met him and dropped him to five foot ten inch senior. Big loss there for Bluffton. So that's going to bring up a second and 21 from the 21 yard line. Bogert's in the shotgun. He's flanked in the backfield by Worcester. He's got three out to the right. He's going to roll to his right. He's going to throw across the field. He's got a pass to complete it out too. We'll see who this is here. We get Bogart's pass visual. Complete. Number 11, 11 Jordan. Great Jordan. Carson Primary. Clum on the stop for the Mustangs. Miller. And, and number Miller. Seven, Carson Clump. Braden Jordan, number 11 the for the Pirates line. with 14 receptions, 381 yards for four touchdowns. So he's the primary target when they do go to the air. You take a look at Bluffton. They've won four in a row now, uh, beating Lipsick last week, 34 to 14. Crestview the week before, 17 to 14. Ada, 31 to 7. And Spencerville, 47 35. So they put up a lot of points there. And they average 31.7 a game. So both these teams are high flying offenses. There's Bogart, throws across the middle. He's got oh, his man nice out catch. there. A fantastic catch. Pretty Run throw, pass, pretty catch. Number 17, Hayden Durth. Hayden Durth. Down by number 18, Trey Extended, Hensley. brought it into up his up chest, got a huge first ten. down from Bluffton. Ah. No, what I was going to say, Danny, doesn't this have a little bit of a feel oh, yeah. of that Minster game we oh, had absolutely. against St. Henry? Well, you know, both teams buckled down in that first, that first quarter, especially, and made it a, a, a a uh, field position game. That, that's yeah. what it looks like right now. So the nice first down for Bluffton. Pirates are at the 48 yard line, first and 10. Bogart looks across. He scrambles out to his right. He's under heavy pressure. Looks down the field, throws down the field. He's got a man down there, just under throws him. Bogart his receiver, number, number 11, 11 Braden, Jordan. Braden Jordan, fell down. So it's homecoming night here tonight Carson at Bluffton, and, and, and it is absolutely and packed on the home line. side with a sea of red and black and a Mustang blue everywhere else you look. So oh, yeah. There's a lot of people along the fences, of people too. Here. Yeah, absolutely. A huge crowd for what some are calling the game of the year of the Northwest Conference. A unique stadium because it it's is. away from the, the high school. And So here comes Bogart in the gun. He's got Worcester flanking him in the backfield. He's got three to the left. He'll give it to Worcester up the middle. He's got five. He's got ten. He's going to pick up about Lane ten yards. Worcester on the carry. Brought nice little cutback. Joey Hole got him around Joseph the Hull. ankles and brought Brings him down. Up another first and ten, Byron. And I don't know if the folks at home can hear this, but the uh, loudspeaker is uh, right, <laughs> right on top of uh, Gilly Very and I. Very enthusiastic. <laughs> Alex Hanna is fantastic. Is he, that who that was? Yes, it is. He does I had a no great idea job. Was Alex. He takes such good care of us, Gilly. <laughs> Oh, he is. He loves his Bluffton Pirates. He does. I, I love the enthusiasm that uh, you know. That and and the has. funny thing is, his dad was real quiet. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Here comes Bogart as he rolls to his, re his right. He throws out. Oh, nice play and defensively. Goes off Bogart, the dad, hands of number four, number Griffin, Stackhouse. Griffin Stackhouse. Well timed by Braylon Kimmett. Kimmett on the coverage. It's going to bring Broke up, up the pass play right there for the Mustangs. Second ten from the, 48. 10 from the 42. Gavin, or Garrett Bogart, uh, Gil, 
rushes 174 yards this year. He only thrown three interceptions. He's got three touchdowns on the ground. Light on his feet, isn't and he? And 12 touchdowns through the air. So a fantastic season for that young man. Yeah, he moves really well inside the pocket, and he's very elusive with his feet. So here comes Bogart in the gun. He's got three to his right. He's got, oh, high snap. He's going to be taken down again in the backfield. And that yeah, snap, the, the snap was that just. That didn't help him, and he did it. And Joey Hole, you know, he had his mind made up. He was going to blitz there, and that little bobble allowed him to get the sack. Yeah. And this Allen East Mustang defense, Darren, is is really athletic and really oh, quick fast. quick to the ball. Yeah, they, they're You've really seen them, and I saw them the first game of the yeah. year. And, you know, both teams are playing their best football oh, right uh, that, now. That so is so true. If you're a coach, you got to be pleased with that, getting into, what, week uh, Week eight. eight. Yeah, we're in. Yeah, it's hard to believe. Right. Bogart's in the gun. He's going to look across the middle of the field. He's throwing across the field. He's got his man and off the hands of number Bogart four. Pass intended for number four, Griffin Stackhouse. Griffin Stackhouse. And boy, he had him. And, and we've got an Allen East Mustang Pirates. down on the field. And he uh, is going to be looked at by the trainer. Let's see I'll tell if we you, can. that was a really good pass protection right there. Give him an opportunity to get his feet set. Unfortunately, just went off the fingertips. I think that appeared to be number four, if I'm not mistaken, who he was trying to hook up with. Griffin Stackhouse just a little bit too high off his fingertips. Darren, why they tend to the injured player, we're going to step aside and take a timeout. With 6.39 to go here in the first quarter, you're watching High School Football on WOSN. Welcome back to Bluffton High School. The injured player that was taken care of was number 64, Landon Poling. He was uh, putting the pressure on Gavin Bogart during that defensive play, and he is uh, being helped off the field. Not a lot of pressure on that leg, Darren. Let's no, hope he's okay. it looks like the right ankle area, and, you know, he got his legs hooked up with one of his teammates. Like you said, they were applying pressure to uh, Mr. Bogart, and I think he just got his leg caught in the wrong position. So Bluffton will go into pump formation back deep for the Mustangs. It's Joseph Hole, number eight for the Mustangs. He's going to field that punt right at the five-yard line. He has taken off, and he has <laughs> hit hard in the back. He got team. as much as he could, but give Bluffton a lot of credit. <laughs> getting down there defensively Hull. and getting a stop punt right there. 21, Gavin Bogart. And, Darren, I don't know if you noticed on that punt, number but it almost looked like the punter Worcester. took, almost, the, almost took a knee. knee. Did you see? Yes, I thought it was close. We, yeah, we both saw that. And the, the official was right there with him, so I'm yep. sure they would have called that. So with 6.27 to go, the Mustangs will take over on the 10-yard. They got 90 yards to go, Darren. So the Bluffton defense has done a great job so far tonight. Our glasses didn't help right there if we both thought he was down. <laughs> well, our what's age doesn't you? help what's us. What's that tell right. you about our eyesight? <laughs> it's getting worse every year. <laughs> Here comes Hershberg. He's going to roll to his left. Tries to go through the interior line. Good job by Bluffton again, staying at home, staying in their lanes. And that defensive line for Bluffton is just everywhere right now. Jacob Hershberger on the carry, brought down by number 57, Marco Big number, Iden. 57, Short Marco Iden. Marco Iden the, stepping in there. Yeah, the 5'10", 255-pound junior, and he is a bowling ball in the oh, middle, just yeah. causing all kinds of havoc on every play. Yeah, there's going to be some... Head knocking going on <laughs> tonight right. with both ball clubs. It's only a physical Hershberg. game. Throws across the middle. He's got his man out there. He's got number four, and that is Keaton is Lehman. To number four, Keaton Lehman. And he picks up a Binkley real estate first down. Mr. Ekes. Ekes. My apologies. Mustangs. Binkley Real Estate has a proven sales approach, effective marketing campaign, and extensive network that will get you results that move you. Binkley Real Estate is our first down sponsor. So here come the Mustang, first and ten from the 28. Appears no, to be Mr. Hole with the oh balls on the floor. Ball, balls on, on the, the ground. ground. Looks like Allen East recovered. I think he got it back. Our first call sponsor tonight is Citizens National Bank. See how we're building a business one relationship at a time at cnbohio.com. Very short gain on the play. Brought down by a boatload of pirates. Joseph Hole gets the majority of the Brings carries, but five. he does Jack's not afraid to get in there and Jack Hole's Put got his head down yeah. and get as much as he can. Both both brothers very physical. Yeah, Jack Hole's got 118 carries on the year for 618 yards and nine touchdowns. So he can smell the end zone, Darren. 
There's a quick pass out to the left side. This is number 18 for the Mustangs. That's Trey Hensley. He's First their speedster, Darren. He gets on the, on the outside. They like to get him in space. Yep. Pushed out of bounds by number 11. Brandon Run out Jordan. at the boundary by Mr. Jordan, number 11 short, for the Pirates. Short gain on the play. Appears to be about two yards short. So here come the Mustangs on third, third and one. one. This is Hershberger in the gun. He's got two to the left, one set receiver on the right side. He's got number 48. That is, I don't have a number 48 on our roster. You have 48 on your roster now? And they get the first down. Jacob Hershberger carries one of the Jacob Hershberger again. Went the right over the right number tackle. Nine, Quinn Eaches and number 33, Cameron Coughlin. That's what you want out of your senior leadership. Got about six yards there for the first down. So here come the Mustangs, first and 10 from the 43. Hershberger throws to his left, throws over top of Trey Hensley. Just didn't get his feet set Hensley. there, Darren, went over top of the receiver. Yeah, it was awful all quick. And Headed that one in the direction of one of the officials, Matt Cummings, over on the <laughs> sidelines. So 4.31 to go here from Bluffton High School. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert. Well, I think they're seeing something with the Bluffton's DBs. If, if they're going to play that far off, they're going to trust their speed on the outside and get the football into their athletes' hands. Hershberger's in the gun. He looks, he scrambles to his right. He's under heavy pressure. He looks down the field. And he's just going to throw it away. And a good uh, job by Hershberger just to get rid of it. Oh, great Hershberger pressure by Bluffton. Is incomplete. Xavier Lugabill in pursuit. Brings up third and 10. Xavier yeah, Lugabill. Mr. Lugabill yeah. got after it, didn't he? <laughs> he sure did. Subaru Legacy in the parking lot with his four ways on. If you will grab bring a Subaru up third Legacy, 10 your four ways are on. 424 well to go. Well-deserved break there by Mr. Lugabill. Going to get him a breather. Big Hirsch fella Hirsch. running down, pushed him out of bounds. Absolutely. Here comes Hershberger in the gun. He's got three to his right. He looks left. He's going to go under heavy pressure. He's going to bring it across the 45, almost to the 50 Jacob where he Hirschberger goes down. The carry. And that's going to bring up a fourth down there, but it's going to be an interesting call Ian at midfield Riemann. with Hershberger as, an, uh, as a Brings running quarterback. You just wonder six. what they're going to do. Well, he, well, wanted, he wanted to go deep with that. He did. He did. And Bluffton did a great job right there. Mr. Riemann right there just contained him, kept him in front. Back nice deep job there by Bluffton. Back deep for Bluffton is number 11, Braden Jordan. This is Jacob Hershberger in the punt formation. Fourth and six from the 47. Is he going to take it? He's going to run it himself. Here comes Hershberger, oh, and he is stop. not going to make it. Yep, he's it's short. No good. Jacob Hershberger brought down by number 33, Cameron Copeland. Brings up another first and ten. Pirates. Well, Darren, we saw Hershberger in pump formation. He must have saw something on the right side because he took off immediately and uh, did not make the first down. I bet his eyes got big because there was a host yeah. of red waiting on him. And Brought down by number 33, Cameron Coughlin right there, the so that's, senior linebacker. It's going to get the ball back to the Pirates from the 49-yard line. Garrett Bogart is in the gun. He's got three receivers to his right. He's going to look across the middle. He's going to go out, flare pass, out to his tailback. He was pushed out of Bogart bounds. Pass that was number one. To Landon Shuttler. Landon pushed out of Shuttler, bounds by the 5 eight. senior. Joseph Hole, flag on the play. We got a flag on the play. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what's called here. So as we await Face the mask, call, apparently, should, I thought where the flag went down it was more in the line of holding. It's going to be. A, it looks like it's going to be against Allen East. It, it is, is face mask. It is. They a must face have mask. got Mr. Hole right there when he made the closeout for the tackle. Didn't get his arms around him. Got part of the face mask. It appears to be Page just a five-yarder. Brings up another, excuse me, second down and five. Our scoreboard tonight is Four made possible miles. by Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lyman Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in Lyman and Lufton. Webb Insurance Agency is our scoreboard sponsor. Here comes Bogart in the gun. He's going to hand the ball off to the first man up, and he's going to get about Landon two yards. Shuttler Landon on Shuttler Brought on the carry. One. Keith Miller, number 69. Landon Reisner. Miller and Landon Reiser on the stop the for the Mustangs. Brings up third and one from the 41. So that's going to bring up third and one Excuse from the 41. Me. Third and two. 
Bogart's in the gun. He's got trips to his right. He's got Worcestershire in the backfield with him. Spread out to his left is number 17, Hayden Durth, the 6'3 junior. And let's see what we Lines got are, here. Okay. What the coaches are asking is, uh, is the down marker correct? Gotcha. Is it third or is it second down? Okay. So the uh, officials are huddling together to see what we do here. I think they're going back to the face mask. Was that a first down? You know what I'm saying? Was yeah, that a right. first down? Or, or do they change the mark and go to second down? Something we haven't talked about too much tonight, Darren, is you look at both of these teams, and Allen East has forced 20 turnovers this year. Bluffton has forced 17 turnovers. So both of these teams are really opportunistic, and when they get the ball on a turnover, usually turn it into some points. That's a great point. You know, both these teams, if you look at their numbers, for the league, they're very, very comparable. Oh, uh, yeah, it's, it's almost a mirror image. It's a mirror image. So yeah, it's going to be a an absolute physical battle tonight. We talked about that a couple weeks ago when they played Columbus Grove. There was so much physical play in the trenches. And, and at the very end, Allen East prevailed 7 to nothing over Grove. And uh, that game could have went either way, but Allen East just had a little bit more. When you got a player like Jacob Hershberger who can get on the outside edge, really make things happen. Yeah, I think they're discussing it with head official Chris Ewald. Hopefully they'll give us an explanation here. Danny Hilbert, Darren Gilbert from Bluffton High School. 3.01 to play. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. I think we're going to see it third and two. So they're saying third and two from the 41. So here we go. A huge – I got to believe where they're at, Darren. There's, it's two plays to make two yards. Would you not agree? I would say they're in two down territory, yeah. So here comes Bogart as he gets to the right go side, the flips it back out to Worcestershire. He picks up another Binkley Real Estate carry. first down. Brought down by number 11, Hunter Nichols brings up another first and 10. So Big kick out right there, absolutely. blocked by Mr. Stackhouse on the corner, allowing him to run right off his backside to get that first down for Looked the like, Pirates. Looked uh, like 70s, 80s Texas Longhorn football, a little option football there. Oh, we got some movement boy. in the backfield. I don't know how they didn't get that yep. call there. And, and again, Mr. Ewald calls that couple one real dancing, quick. A couple <laughs> dancing moves going on there. One in motion and then the, the running back the the took a half a step. So 2.30 to go here in the first quarter. Zero to zero on the web insurance scoreboard. Five yard penalty brings up first and 15 from the 41. Our timeout sponsor is Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Host of sponsors tonight in this big game here. Oh, yes, we got a lot absolutely. Of, we got a huge crowd here tonight. Two of the leaders in the NWC. Here's Bogart as he steps up the middle. He's gonna pick up a close to another first down as he picks up about eight yards. Garrett Bogart on the carry, brought or tripped up by number eight, Joseph Hole. Joseph Hole with a trip up there. Nice Game little about ten on the play, run up there. second and five by and Garrett. Interesting to note, Darren, that the leading tackler for the Mustangs is quarterback Jacob Hershberger, who has 47 tackles, 39 solos, eight assists, and three interceptions. So both sides of the ball is really affected by Hershberger. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens at the league meetings for right. all league on both sides of the ball. <laughs> That's right. Oh, and a stout, stout front four for the Mustangs as Worcestershire tries to go through the middle and is just taken down. Paxson. Excuse me, Brogan Paxson. And I'm saying Worcestershire, and it's Wooster, correct? Yes. Yes, Landon Wooster. Brogan Paxson on the stop there for the Mustangs. We'll call his name a lot tonight as yes, he's very active will. in the interior there. Him and Keaton Miller both. Four. Actually, the Boy front four. Hurts. Yes. And then you got Carson Clum on the back end in the defensive backfield, yep. Hirschberger. So they got athletes everywhere. So here come the Pirates. They got a man in motion. They got Bogart in the gun. Landon Wooster's behind him. He's going to look across the field. He's going to throw to the right side down towards the end zone. There's Carson Klum, picks him off and takes it in the end zone. And boy, you you have really got to know where Carson Klum is at all times. Yeah, uh, it was just a phenomenal play right there. Was oh, it? Right. It was Hirschberger, I believe. Oh, you're right. It was Hirschberger. Right, my eight. mistake. Joseph Hole. Uh, no, I, 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 I think it was Hirschberger. No, that was Hirschberger. You're right. 
you know, three. he was in the right place right there defensively. Three, and Jacob Hershberger. I thought it was number seven, Carson Clum, but you are correct, Aaron. It was Jacob Hershberger. That's four interceptions for him on the year. So, and, you, and really, when you look at that, Darren, it's almost like a punt. I know mm -hmm. you don't want to give the ball away, but you're only bringing him to the 20. You lose 10 yards on that play. Sure. So, in all essence, it was third down. So, you're, you're still okay. Third, what was it? Third it was and third long? and long, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, good call. So, here comes Hershberger. He's in the gun. He's got hole to his left. He's got two receivers to his right, a single receiver to the right. He's going to pitch back to hole. Pitch. Hole's going to try to get around the corner, and he's going to be taken down. Here comes a flag oh, boy. from way back in. Usually, that typically means a <laughs> yeah. hold or yeah. a clip, one of the two. They've already indicated it is a Number hold. Number eight, Joseph Hole on the carry flag on the play. So that will take the Mustangs back 10 yards as the uh, the official is already looking at his officiating buddies given the uh, hold signal, and Chris Ewald is going to verify that. Hold, and that's a hold. holding on the Mustangs. Cameron Coughlin on the stop there for the Pirates. Quick first quarter. Very quick first quarter, 47 seconds to go. Zeroes on the scoreboard. Brings up first and 20. It's going to bring up first and 20 from, from the 13-yard 13 13. line. Excuse me, first and 17. Hershberger's in the gun. He's got hold to his left. He's going to look across the middle. He's going to throw to the right side. He's going to overthrow the receiver. Intended receiver was number four. Pass intended That's for Keaton number four. Lehman. That's his favorite Keaton target Lehman on the year. Falls in complete. Very Shuttler well in the covered. Brings up second and 17 from by Landon the Shuttler. Keaton Lehman's got 24 receptions on the year for 326 yards and two touchdowns. That's going to bring up a third down. Excuse me, second and 17. Hershberger's in the gun. He looks across the – throws to the left. He's got a man out there at the 25-yard line. That's number six, Caleb Hopkins. Number six, Caleb Hopkins. And that's going to bring up third down. That could be the last play Caleb of the first quarter. down at the 25-yard line. Yeah, they got half of it back. Now they're putting themselves in a respectable third and five situation here. And you're right, I think they're going to talk about it. They are going to let that run out. So that's going to bring the end of the first quarter. As so your first after quarter, one quarter, the Bluffton Pirates and the Allen East Mustangs are knotted up at zero. You're watching High School Sports on WOSN. Welcome back to Bluffton High School, where the second quarter is just underway here. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from Bluffton High School. Allen East with the ball on the 25-yard line. We've got a third and five situation. Hershberger's in the gun. He's got Hole in the backfield with him. He's got two receivers to the right, two receivers to the left. If you want to see defense, that was a great first quarter by both ball clubs. He goes across the middle. He's got his man out there. A completion, and that's going to be a Binkley Real Estate first down. To number three, or excuse me, number four. It was Keaton almost Lehman. like a jump pass, Darren. It was. <laughs> as the he old finds, Tim Tebow. Yeah, as he finds Keaton Lehman across the middle for and a big pickup of about 25 yards. For the Mustang. Aegis and Dirth on the stop for the Pirates. Our timeout sponsor tonight is Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. And they try to run oh, the nice guy. Job they try to Bluffton. run their man up the middle, and a flag comes in, and that was Joseph Hole who got to, uh, or excuse me, Hull Jacob Hole who was taken down by the host of Bluffton Pirates. Gavin Bogart, among others, several flags on the play. Gavin Bogart with a big, big stop right there. Typically, where that throw or that flag comes in is holding, but it looks like it's going to go against. Well, let's see what they call here. He got a little chippy there towards the yes, end. Yes, did a personal yep. foul, face oh, mask face against mask. the Pirates. Pirates face mask. So a huge yeah, break that's for a the Allen East, but that is a huge call. Yeah, there. that's not the five yarder, that's the 15. That is a personal foul, 15, 15 yard yards. Penalty brings up first down again for the Mustangs. So that's going to put the ball at the 40 yard line. That's going to give the Mustangs first and 10 with 11.35 to go. Jacob Hershberger's in the gun. He's got hole in the backfield. He's got two receivers to both sides. He looks across the field and waits for his instructions from his head coach. He is a dangerous dual threat quarterback. He can use his legs to cause damage and he has a very strong arm. He's gonna throw to the right. He's got Hopkins out there to the right and he is taken down. Gains about a yard, but uh, not much more than that. Oh yeah, met right there by Gavin Bogart. Mopped up with Brought a couple of his teammates. Gavin Bogart. Gavin Bogart was there quick. Sure was, closed real quick. on the play. 
It's going to bring up second and nine, a gain of a yard. That'll put the ball at the 39-yard line, 10.52 to go. Danny Horton, Darren Gilbert from Bluffton High School, homecoming 2022 for the Pirates. I'm not sure why you schedule Alan East for homecoming league leaders, but uh, I don't think you have much of a I choice know. when the schedules get Rocks, filled uh, out, you, you know. know. You absolutely are right. <laughs> So here comes Hershberger. He's going to fake the handoff. He's going to get out to the right side. Oh, and he's nice going to be play. taken down. And number 27, Landon Wooster, got in the backfield and disrupted the entire play. Well, somebody blew it up. And then Hershberger on the carry. It appeared to be number 65. And I'm not I'm, I'm not so sure we have a number on him. I don't have a number. Several pirates. I don't have Oh, it. Mr. Culver. Third and 11 Mr. from the 41. Mr. Culver with a big, big play right there. So a big play for the must or for the Pirates. Third and 11 from the 41. Ten minutes to go here in the second quarter. Knotted up at zero. Here comes Hershberger. He looks across the field. He's going to step up. He's going to run for it. He's going to go across the middle. He's going to pick up a first down. He's got 15 yards. He's got 20 yards and an unbelievable Jacob run by Jacob Hershberger. He's going to pick up a Binkley Real Estate first Landon down. Luster. Excuse me, Landon Shuttler. You think that wasn't designed as a quarterback Absolutely. draw right there? Absolutely. He really used his legs well there. So that's going to give the Mustangs the ball at the 21-yard line. Landon Shuttler on the stop with Braden Jordan. Here for comes Hershberger. Bring the Mustangs back up to the line. He's in the gun. He's got a single back to his right. He's got Hopkins to the far right. He's got two set receivers to the left. He's going to hand the ball off to Hull. Or gets Jack Hull with, with a carry. He's going to get about four yards, but that's going to put them Jack in the Hole Citizens National the Bank red zone. Trying to see who's got him by the ankles. Right Looks now, like uh, Mr. Gavin Bogart. Bogart. Yep. Gavin, Gavin Bogart, 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 yes. Bogart on the stop. Our red zone sponsor tonight is Citizens National Colmer. Bank. See how we're building businesses one relationship Xavier at a time Louisville. at cnbohio.com. Citizens National Bank is our red zone sponsor. So here come the Mustangs, the first real threat of the night to score, Darren, as they've had an impressive drive so far this quarter. Well, Bluffton's putting them, putting Allen East in tough situations. They're putting them in second long and third and long. And they're converting, but, yes. Yeah, but Allen East is, is converting those third down situations, those third and nines, third and tens. Hirsch Big possession here for Bluffton. Here's Hershberger. He's going to keep it himself, and he is just going to be taken down. And underneath that pile is a, is. Let's see who that is. Jacob Hershberger. Big number Lugabil. 68 for the Pirates. Xavier Lugabil. Xavier Lugabil. There's that man again, Mama. Well, he, st he, st <laughs> he stood up, that Short offensive lineman, didn't he? Third and five from the 16. So another great job by Xavier Lugabil. Boy. Again, third and five. They've got Alan East right where they want him. Here come the Mustangs. Hershberger's in the gun. He's got Jack Hole to his left. He's got two receivers to the left. He's going to keep it himself, throw across the middle. He's got his man. Oh, oh he, he had, had number him. four out there the entire way. Griffin, or excuse me, number four, Hershberger Keaton Lehman. That is four, the same Keaton play Lehman. they ran from Quinn the opposite Eaton's side of the field, the Darren. He just missed the ball. Up. You know, we can sit here and say he should have caught that. But lay it out like that, there's a DB that's just waiting for him to you touch and I, that ball. Yes, both saw the defensive back who was just going to lay the wood if he had mm -hmm. caught that. And that is a lot tougher than it yeah, looks. That, I'm here that, to tell you, That folks. receiver played a little peekaboo. Yes, just did. took his eyes off the ball a little bit, just enough for him to uh, drop it. So here comes Braylon Kennedy on to attempt a field goal, be it from about 33 yards. Got a solid leg. Here comes the snap. The kick is up, and it is good. Kennedy's so kick Kennedy's cook, the kick, excuse Alanis me, is good three, with 7.51 to go here in the second quarter. The Allen East Mustangs lead 3 to nothing from Bluffton High School. You're watching High School Football. Welcome back to Bluffton High School, where the Allen East Mustangs are the first ones on the scoreboard tonight. Three to nothing here with 7.51 to go. 35, Braylon Kennedy and a kick for So Allen a good East. drive, Back and they'll take the points, Darren. No, well, as, silly as, as silly as it sounds, if you're Bluffton, you have to be oh, pleased, absolutely. Darren, to give them only three points. Number 10, Noah Bricker, number four, Griffin Stackhouse. And I'm going to be honest with you, Kennedy's kick would have been good for 43. Oh, yeah, he it had plenty <laughs> of leg, didn't he? Yes, he did. That's always a luxury. We found that out with uh, Columbus Grove last oh, year. Oh, absolutely. And that young man's had a phenomenal year at Marshall. 
So here come the Pirates. They'll bring the ball up the left side of the field. They'll take Griffin over to about Stackhouse the 20-yard line. Return. Griffin Stackhouse on the return. Yeah, he's speaking of that Pushed young man. He is kicking at Marshall Hayes University Wireman. and really doing well. Yeah, he uh, he played First a huge day. part in that upset of Notre Dame. Pirates. Ran out of bounds by Cade Wireman. On the far side. Our time out sponsor tonight is Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. So here come the Pirates. Bogart's in the gun. He's got Landon Wooster in the backfield with him. He's got two receivers to his right and a single receiver to his left as they start out on the 20-yard line. Bogart takes the snap. He rolls to his right, pitches back to Wooster. He's going to try to get across, and a big hit by Jacob Hershberger. Sure was. Hershberger came Landon out of Wooster a cannon there. He brought down by number four, Keaton Lehman. And number 24, Braylon Kimmett. Yeah, Hershberger and Lehman right, right there. Both of them. Also closed on, on that football that quick. Say thank you to Matt Oglesby, Ed Montgomery. So that'll bring up Jared second Arnold, seven from the 23-yard line. Seven, 17 tonight. to thank go you, here. Well contested game here from Lufton High School. Bogart's in the gun. He's got two receivers to his right. He's got a man in motion. He's going to hand off to the motion man. Goes across the left side of the field. He's going to pick up maybe two yards. That's number Gavin Bogart on the carry. 21, number Gavin four. Or Bogart. That's his Keaton brother. Lehman. So the Bogart brothers in action there. Keaton Lehman with a stop for Allen East. You know, I had him the first game of the Tonight's year, game, and they just close on the on football WOSN so quick. Tomorrow, Saturday at 6.30 p.m. Watch this on Both these WOSN teams are very, very tomorrow, quick. Tomorrow, 6.30 p.m. So here come the Pirates, third and six. A big critical third down here from the 24-yard line. Bogart's in the gun. He's got Wooster to his right. He's going to bring it to the right side, looking for a man down the field. He throws down the field. He's got his man. Got number 11 down Four there on the, the catch. Brayden Jordan. Two Jordan picks up about seven Pushed yards after the catch. Three, and he's going to pick up, brings up a Beakley Real Estate first, first down. Ten, Pirates. Yeah, that's a nice pitch and catch there. Mr. Jordan went high to the peak of the football and brought it down. And that play, Darren, was made because Bogart's legs, he got out of the pocket, mm -hmm. found some space, and threw a nice ball down the field. Well, not only that, he kept his composure. Absolutely. You, know? you get three or four white hats bearing <laughs> down on you. That's right. Here comes Bogart in the gun. He's got Wooster. He's going to have oh, a little the inside halfback gets reverse, the carry. Huh? A little trickery little by the Pirates. The brought down by number 69. Landon Reisner. Number 10, and number four, Noah Bricker. Keaton Lehman. Lehman and Reisner on the stop Brings for up second and seven from the blue and white. Five. Noah Bricker on the carry. That's going to bring up second and seven. 5.31 to go. Pirates trying to put a drive together here to take the lead here in the end of the first half. Bogart takes the snap. He's going to hand off to Worcester up the middle. He's going to pick up four or five tough yards. Landon Worcester on the carry Look, once again. I, I know that doesn't one, seem like Keith a big play, Miller. Darren, but at second and seven, Another he picks up six. He puts him in third, third manageable. And, and if you are third and one or third and two, third and three all night, Excuse you are four, really four, running the ball well. Well, you want to try to get a, you want to try to get a score here. Absolutely. Because if you don't, you don't want to give the football back to Allen East to give them an opportunity a great to march point. down the field. That's a great point. So we're third and four. I was a little premature when I said third and two, but they're going to mark it third and four. You know, this is an important play of the drive. You from know, the 48. Then you have a decision to make if he doesn't get it. Bogart's going to roll to his right. He's going to be taken down. Keaton Lehman. Yeah, yeah nowhere to go down. with it. He, he did the right four, thing, though, Lehman. by eating the football. Keaton Lehman, great job closing there. And right now, that is the play of the first half because Keaton Lehman just came out of nowhere, and he's going to force Bluffton to give the ball up. Yeah, and there's a lot of time left here in the second quarter. The, you know, Alan East is going to retain possession of the football with about four Pirates. minutes to go here in the second quarter. Jake, or excuse me, Joseph Hole back to Joseph receive. Hole is back deep for the, for Mustangs. the Mustangs. They'll punt the ball. And a high, oh, nice, nice punt. spiral punt down. Did that hit off of a Mustang? No, I just think it went sideways okay, is what it okay. appeared. 
It looked like some of the bluff that Pirates thought it hit off the Mustang, but that's going to give Allen East the ball. Sort of a weird bounce As there. Yes, it down at the 33-yard line. Typically, when you get ten, that nice rotation on the football, it's going to lean Allen it East. towards so three more yardage. Yeah, 357 to go here, Darren. Tomorrow, Saturday, Mustangs up three to nothing. Team will compete in the NWC tournament at Spencerville. Our JV football team, that'll be at 9 a.m. At 10 a.m., the JV football team will travel to Allen East. Also at 10 a.m., our JV and varsity boys soccer team will be at Shawnee. Our instant replay tonight is provided by Eastside Insurance. Visit eastsideinsurance.com. So here come the Mustangs. Try to add to this 3 to nothing lead with 3.57 to go before the half. Hirschberger's in the gun. He's got two backs beside him. He's got a single set to his left and one, two to his right. He's going to give them the first man up, and he's going to be taken down. Guess just who? Just smothered. <laughs> yeah, guess who, folks? Big number 68. Joe Hole on the carry brought down by number Xavier 68. Xavier Lugabill. Xavier Lugabill, Montgomery. Well, yep, and Culver also in on the stop. Xavier Lugabill, the 6'2", 250-pound senior, and he plays every bit as much as <laughs> any great defensive tackle in this league plays. He's very quick for his size, very good lateral movement. Hershberger takes the snap. He looks across the field, throws across the middle. He's got his man out there. He's got Keaton Lehman, and Lehman makes the catch for a Binkley real estate first down, but he was really hit hard. Well, that, that was a great pitch and catch right there, and I was trying to keep an eye on Luganville, and just as I was figuring, they're, they're starting to double team him now. Darren, they've had really uh, three plays tonight. Two of them are, have been huge successes across the middle. Is that something you think they prepared for all week long? Because they found something. Here comes Hole across the le left side. He's out to the 40. He's going to be taken out of bounds, and he's going to pick up another number first 48, down. Number 48, Jack Hole on the carry. Pushed out of bounds by number 11, Braden Jordan at about the 40-yard line. Jordan runs him out of bounds. First down for the Mustangs. And really a smart play by Jack Hole was, right there. Right. Getting yeah. out of bounds, he's saving a timeout. 3.02 to go. It was a great and play. And all your timeouts, I believe, that's that's a, that's a luxury to have. To answer your question, I think they've seen something. Sure. You know, from the press box, or one of the assistant coaches, they're covering the edges and leaving the middle of the field open. And I think Alan East is starting to yeah, you take a look at Jack, Hole. That. Uh, Jack Hole here, Darren. That's 25 yards on two carries, and he's Carson really Cruzy. looking like he's flexing his muscle a little bit. And that offensive line for Allen East is really starting over the field. Well, he was also trying to motivate his teammates sure. there in the first quarter. You could tell. I don't know what words he was saying, but you could tell by nonverbal actions of his hands and everything. He was trying to get his teammates fired up. Here comes Hershberger. He's in the gun. He's got Hole to his right. He's going to roll to his right, looks down the field. He's going to keep it himself. He cuts back, goes across the field. Here he comes to the left side. Here comes Jacob Hershberger. Hey, He's at the 20. There's a flag down a to the 10, to the 5. Back. And he gets into the end zone, but I Jacob think that's Hershberger coming back. Carry. Flag on the play. Yeah, nobody on the Allen side is looking too excited. I think that was coming back, Darren. And Coach Joe Billings is upset with the officials. Boy, he's verbally upset. I think what we got is a block in the back. You are correct. We're going to wait and see from Chris Ewald and see what the call is. And you are correct, Darren. It is a block in the back. Well, it is. Like a block in the back and, on uh, Allen East. The, intention, you get the intention's yeah. right. Right. But it was so far away from the ball carrier, I don't think it really had. It didn't have anything to do with the play. Correct. Yeah. And that's one that they're going to get. Sure. A touchdown the taken the off the board. Of first down for the Mustangs. Anytime you have an individual who cuts back like that, mm -hmm. usually those are the types of calls that are made because guys are turning around, guys are trying to pivot to get trying to the ball Trying to get carry. that crack yep. back block. Yep. And unfortunately, they got caught right there. Look, we've, we've, we've watched a lot of football this year, Darren. I don't know that we've seen a more dynamic quarterback. I mean, we've seen kids with maybe better arms, but not this dynamic with his feet and with his arm. He he's is fantastic. Really, he's really close to the kid from Minster. He that, is, that absolutely. Hershberger looks across well, the middle. they got him under pressure. He is going to be Lugan taken down. Bill. Is a McDonald's <laughs> yeah. quarterback sack. Xavier Luganbill. Gavin Bogart. Well, Gavin and Bogart Xavier really Lugan disrupted him. He came Please. in with high hands. And yeah, that allowed Lugan Bill to step right into that hole and just put a punishing tackle on 
Hershberger. You've nice got play. so much speed from the linebacking core <laughs> of the teams. Pirates, and then you've got the strength of the interior four for the Pirates, and it's just causing all kinds of havoc. And this is just a great contest between the offensive mm -hmm. and defensive lines. It's going to be a teams. chess match. Absolutely. So here comes Hershberger. He's in the gun. He's got hole to his right. He's got three receivers to his right. He's going to step up in the pocket. He's going to keep it himself. He's going to – is he – Close to a first down, second and 13. Jacob He's going to be off short. Carry brought down by number 23, Carson Cruzy. Cruzy and Eaches on the stop. And number nine, Quinn Eaches. Going to bring up. Brings up third and short. Third, for very the short for the Mustangs with 1.26 to go. Clock continues to run. I love the composure of Hershberger. Clock still It was runs. a great decision right there because was Logan a, Bell yeah. was, yep. had him in his eyesight. Here comes Hershberger in the Mustangs. He's got trips to his left. He's got a single receiver to the right. He's going to hand it off the hole up the middle. They're going to pick up another Jack Binkley real estate first down. Close, huh? It's going Xavier to be Louisville close. Number 23, Carson Cruzy. Okay, they are going to give it yep, to him. They're going to give it's it like to him. First down for the Mustangs. Our first down Carson Cruzy on the stop. For the red and black. Binkley Real Estate has a proven sales approach. Effective marketing campaigns and extensive network that will get you results that move you. Binkley Real Estate is our first down sponsor. So here come the Mustangs. They're in 50, field goal range. Yep, they sure are. 54 seconds to go. Here comes Hershberger. He looks across the middle. He's going to throw to the right side. He's got a man in the end zone. Off the hands of Hopkins. And Hopkins was out there. Good six. job by Hayden Caleb Durth Hopkins breaking it up. By number 17, Hayden Durth. Caleb Hopkins beat Hayden Durth to the corner, and the ball just went off Hopkins' shoulder pads or, or the face mask I area. I think Durth actually got a hand it on it. It did look like that. You are correct. Got his left paw on the football. Well, if Hopkins would have made the catch, it would have been the catch of the year because yes, he was really guarded. So Very well. Yeah. So that will stop the clock with 46 seconds to go. Second and 10 from the 19. Mustangs lead 3 to nothing. Danny Homer, Darren Gilbert from Bluffton High School. Here comes Hershberger. He's going to look across. He's got screen. Hole out in the flat for a screen. Here comes Hole across the Hershberger right side. Pass complete to Jack Hole, brought it, down by number 17. And or that's, excuse me, number 27, Landon Worcester. It's going to be a timeout first down. And the, the Mustangs are going to take a timeout. We'll step aside with 36 seconds to go At until halftime. Like the Mustangs lead 3 to nothing. You're watching High School Football on WSN. We're back here with 36 seconds to go before halftime. And Alan East Mustangs have it first and goal at the nine yard line. Hershberger's in the gun. He's going to keep it himself. He's no, he's going to try wanted to, go. to throw a little dump pass. Yes, he didn't did. He? <laughs> that is a great call, Darren, because it looked like he wanted to go right across the middle. Same play we've seen, ran three times. Jacob tonight. Hershberger on the carry. Pushed he, out of bounds by number 21, Gavin Bogart. And number 65, Preston Colbert. Darren, how do you Culver and Bogart on the stop yeah. for the Pirates? As the a second. defensive coordinator, how do you game plan for a kid like Hershberger who can just take it every time? Well, it's one of those scouting reports. It's not only him, but you got to worry about the whole brothers <laughs> and then your Carson ability. Clum, yes. Hopkins, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So that's going to bring up second and goal from the two yard line. Picked up seven yards there. Hershberger's in the gun. He's got hole to his right. He's going to give the ball to hole. He's going to go up the middle, and he's going to get into the end zone. Jack Hole on the carry. Uh, Springfield like Fireworks touchdown. Touchdown, touchdown celebrations Mustangs. are brought to you by Springfield Fireworks in Bluffton, your one-stop shop for the largest selection of fireworks and novelty items. Open seven days a week, nine until eight. So that made it look easy there. Yeah, that's one of those where you give it to your big running back. I won't say fullback, but well, running back. He looks like a fullback. And just let him find his crease in there. And he went right over the left guard in the, the center in that A gap, found his way to pay dirt. So Kennedy's going to try to tack on the extra point. Snap is back, hold is good, the kick is up, and it is good. So with 23 seconds to go until halftime, the Allen East Mustangs have a 10 to nothing lead. You're watching high school good, football right here on zero. WSN. We're back here at Bluffton High School with 23 seconds to go until halftime. The Allen East Mustangs going a nice long drive there, capped off by <clears throat> big number 48, Jack Hole, going in across the end zone. That's his 10th touchdown of the year. Are you surprised he got the carry from one yard line there? No. <laughs> Jacob Hershberger used his legs the entire time, and Jack Cole really, like does a great job of well, just smashing You know, you just talked about no, they have so many options. Yeah, you know, Hershberger could keep it. You got both those kids that can run the football. Kind of a squibber there on that kick, being brought up the field by number 21. Gavin Bogart on the return. That's Brought Gavin Bogart. 
Lane Wildermuth. So with 17 seconds to go, the Pirates will. Lane Wildermuth on the stop for the Mustangs. I got to believe they're going to keep the ball on the ground here, Darren. And uh, if they don't take a knee here, let's see what they do. Uh, unless, you know, unless I'm wrong here, but with a 10-0 score and back up on the 33-yard line. Yeah, Alanis is going to bring three, it appears, right here. Yeah, they got the three in the interior of that line. They'll keep a single linebacker, and everybody else will play help defense on the back side of the defensive backs. So here's Bogart in the gun. He's going to pass the ball out to the flat. This is 21. This is Bogart. He's going to be taken out of bounds. That'll stop the clock at 11 Bogart's seconds. Bogart's pass is complete to Gavin Bogart. Pushed so out of bounds. Brother to brother one. combination there. And number 16, Cade Wireman. So, Darren, I'm seeing my breath second, now. So, you were seven. correct. The temperature is continuing From to go to 36. <laughs> yeah. Still want to say it's a crisp evening. I knew you would change. I haven't heard it out of your mouth yet, but I'm yes. waiting. You are correct, Aaron. Oh, Miller not... and Kimmett on the stop for the Mustangs. It is no longer crisp. It is downright cold. <laughs> so here come the Pirates. 11 seconds to go from the 36-yard line. Bogart looks across the field. He's going to throw deep down the right side. He's got a man out there, and it goes off the hands of Bogart's number 11. For number 11, Braden Jordan. Braden broken Jordan. By number seven. He was defended by number Carson seven, Klum. Carson Clump. Carson Clump got behind the receiver. Braden Jordan had a great position on the ball. Well, I think what they're trying to do is they want to, I think Coach Bellings and his staff wants to keep the football in sure. front of them. Sure. They're giving the 30 yards, so 35, but sure. they're not going to let that thing go, go beyond the defender. That'll bring up third and seven from the 36 yard line. I'll hand it. Bogart with the ball. He's just going to hand the ball off to Wooster. He's going to take it up the middle. Landed and that Worcester will the be carry. the last play one, of the game. Miller. So here we Thanks go at halftime from stop. Boston High School. The Alan East Mustangs ball. lead 10 to nothing going into the break. You're watching Zero. high school football on WOSN. Welcome back to Bluffton High School. We're getting ready to start the third quarter here. The Allen East Mustangs lead the Buffalo Pirates on homecoming. They lead 10 to nothing. Danny Holberg, Darren Gilbert, and Gilly, you take a look at Allen East in the second quarter. They did it primarily on the ground with a lot of movement up front. Yeah, a lot of movement up front. They went, you know, to their big horses. Uh, thoroughbreds, I guess, yeah, is a yeah, good absolutely. word to use, you know, and got the, hand, the ball in the hands of their athletes, and they punched it in. You know, if you're bluffed and you got to be pleased, I know it, it sounds silly, but down Noah 10, Brinder down 10 to nothing, you can make some adjustments at well, halftime. Tell the kids they're okay, Brinder and you're going to get the football right here. The you know, this this is uh, as crazy as this sounds. This is an important possession for them because they can't lay it on the ground or throw an interception here at Allen East. They've got to put a drive here and milk some milk some clock and try to get some points on the board. And you are correct. It's a 10 to nothing game, but it seems like it's zero. I mean, it doesn't mm -hmm. seem like a 10 point spread here Absolutely. because Bluffton's played so well. Mm -hmm. They sure have. So, number 35 for the Mustangs. This is Braylon Kennedy. So he'll be kicking off. Back deep for the Pirates. Number 10, Noah Bricker. And number four, Griffin Stackhouse. Bricker Pretty will nice take kick a air. kick at the five. He'll bring it up. Try to get to the right side. And he'll be taken down oh, Bricker on the at about the 20-yard line. 13, Bryce, taken Bryce down by Avery. 13, Bryce, Bryce Avery. Avery. bangs him to the ground right there for the Mustangs. So that's where the Pirates will take over. First and 10 from the 19-yard line. Nice luxury to have a kid that can kick the football, not only oh, through the goodness. uprights, but also... Hey. Spot you. Yeah. A solid Kennedy has a kickoff. really strong foot. Come to the press box. So here comes Bogart. He'll lead the Pirates back out to the line of scrimmage. He's in the gun. He's got Wooster to his left. He's got man in motion. He'll take the snap. And the flag. We got a false start. Got a false start out immediately on the line there at Bluffton. So not the way the Pirates wanted to start this half. Mr. Cummings picked that up from the far side. Veteran group out here officiating tonight, led by Chris Ewald. We see Chris Ewald everywhere, Darren. <laughs> Mr. Derry Barry, I saw him here tonight, yeah. league commissioner. Flags on the play. 
false start on the Pirates. Loss of five. So here comes Bogart. He's got a man in motion. Bogart takes the snap himself. He's going to run to the right side. Oh, He's got a lane. Direction. He gets into the secondary, and he picks up about nine yards. Garrett Bogart again on the carry. Tripped up by Hirschberger. A little misdirection. I take Call that back. Down by number seven. He Carson picked up Klump. about 12 yards on that carry, Darren, because they were a gain of about eight on the carry. Brings up second and two from the 27. Second yeah, Hershberger got a hat on his lower legs, and then Carson Klum assisted. So here comes Bogart in the gun. He's got Wooster to the back. He's got two receivers to the left, one to the right. He's going to hand up to Wooster, the first man up. He's going to be close to a first down, but I don't Shuttler believe he got carry. it. Brought down by number four, Keaton Lehman. Cade Wireman also number on the 16, assist. Cade Wireman. Keaton Lehman. One yard gain on the play. Third and one for the Pirates. So that's going to bring up a third and one from the 28. Now Bogart's got three receivers to his left. He's got trips to the left. He's got a single receiver flanked out to the right and a tailback behind him. Bogart takes the snap. He's going to hand to Wooster, and he's uh -oh. hit immediately. Somebody, somebody. My goodness. Shot the gap, but it looked like it was Joe Joseph Hole. By number one, Keith Miller, number eight, Joe Hole. Joe Hole hit him immediately, and that's Keaton going to bring Miller up a loss. A stop. And that play right there, that forces Bluffton into another punt on a third and two. Guy Actually, third and one, yeah, and they the just couldn't get there. Good job by Joe Allen Hole East. Back to receive for the Mustangs. Joe Hole is back for the punt from the 26-yard line. The snap is back. Kick is up, and it is a high spiral Another kick. Another beautiful punt by that young man. Hole's going to take it at the 35. Nice coverage by the Pirates. Yeah, absolutely. Take it Joe down Hole at the 37-yard line. Brought down by number 62. Lynn and Worcester. Xavier Diller. Our first call sponsor is Citizens Among National others. Bank. See how we're building businesses Xavier one relationship Diller. at a time at cndohio.com. Great special teams coverage here by the Pirates. It absolutely was, and that's really important in this game because field, field position is a premium right now. So here come the Pirates and Jacob Hershberger, the senior quarterback, dominated the first half with his feet and his arm. He's got hold to his left. He's got uh, two I think we got, Yeah, I think the left tackle jumped. Flag on the So play. a mirror image of the Bluffton like Pirates' uh, first possession of the second half. False start the by the Mustangs. Mustangs. Five yard penalty for well, look who's playing over the top of the young man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. Mr. Luganville's had his way the first half of Again, there's a, an iPhone making stops or putting pressure in the backfield. Home. And that's a great matchup between Troy Wildermuth for the Mustangs. And well, Xavier the linebackers Lugan. are starting to. Up. They're going to get that five I'm, yards right back. Yes, sir. Mr. Luganville got a little antsy. Oh, no. Oh, they're going to say another false start. false start by the Mustangs. That's going to back them up 10 yards. Apparently, there was a flinch, which brought Luganville across the line Crumble of scrimmage. Now, what I was going to say is, is Bluff can start to sneak them linebackers up, too, into the gaps. Here comes Hershberg. He's going to roll to his right, looks for a blocker out. He gets across the perimeter. He gets to the 40, gets to the 45, and almost to the 50-yard line. Jacob Hershberger, Jacob Hershberger carry down by with a carry of Riley about Greer. 14 yards, and that's going to set them up in good position. Nice run there. Great blocking by the interior offensive line. Excuse me. By our East. R.J. Davies. He was 54. really patient on that play, Darren, as he waited for his blocking to take place. That's going to bring up a second and one. He's going to hand the ball to Hole. Hole's going to get across the line. He's going to get through the gap there. He's going to get a citizen, or excuse Go me, he's going to get a Binkley Real Estate first down. down Binkley Real Estate has a proven sales approach, effective marketing campaign, and extensive network that will get you results that move you. Quinn Binkley e Real Estate is our first down sponsor. Pardon me, partner. Just Quinn each is on the right stop right there. there for Cameron Coughlin on the tackle the there Pirates at one point. And Cameron Coughlin. You're welcome. Coughlin. So, I, so Hershberger's going to be in the gun. He's got a hole. It. He's going to go across the middle. He's going to step up in the pocket, go to the left side. He's going to wiggle waggle for about five Hershberger or six yards. And Atlanta I suppose, Darren, we need to tell our viewers at home that if we do talk over each other, we're having some technical difficulties here in the booth, so we can't really hear each other that well. So we apologize for that. Yeah, we're using one of your headsets <laughs> we are, right we now. Are, which is a technical difficulty. But that's but, okay. We're going to get through oh, it. We're making it work. We're making Absolutely. it work. Absolutely. Bringing the best high school coverage in Northwest Ohio and Central Ohio to the Lima Land area. Last stop by Landon Shuttler of the home team. 
Second and Pirates. Four from the 39. Here comes Hershberg. He's going to keep it himself, go to the right side. Gets out of a tackle. He gets escapes from another tackle. He gets to the right he side. He's going down the, the sideline. And Jacob Hershberg is going to take it in for no a Springfield touchdown. Fireworks touchdown. Alley. Your one-stop shop for the largest selection of fireworks and novelty items. Open seven days a week from 9 to 8. Springfield Fireworks is our touchdown sponsor. And Darren, Jacob Hershberg just showed you why he is so dynamic. Oh, he's, he's exceptionally quick. He's strong with his legs and very elusive. And in that particular situation, Bluffton had him. And he just happened to wiggle away and got the corner turned, and it was a foot race to the end zone. He found the pylon. So Jacob Hertzberger takes it out from 39 yards out. Braylon gives Kennedy the Mustangs the 16 to nothing lead with 8.26 to go. Kennedy will try to tackle on the extra point. Snap is back, hold is good, the kick is up, and it is good. Kick is good. So with 8.26 to go Here's from Buffalo High School, the Alanis Mustangs lead 17 to nothing on the Web Insurance scoreboard. You're watching High School Sports right here on WOSN. Welcome back to Bluffton High School with 8.26 to go. The Alan East Mustangs take a commanding 17 to nothing lead here in the NWC showdown of the year between the two unbeatens left in the league. And uh, Jacob Hershberger scampers in from 39 yards out. Yeah, like you know, like we talked about before the break there, Bluffton had him contained. It was just his athleticism. And once he got the corner turned, it was all pay dirt. Yeah, he, in all rights, Darren, he was taken down behind the line of scrimmage and he broke three tackles. Yes, he broke three tackles and you know, speed and athleticism did the rest for him. And once he turned it into a foot race, he just outrun the defenders. So dare I say, Darren, that this might be the most pivotal drive of the game for the Pirates as they are down now 17 to nothing here on homecoming night, 8.26 to go. Danny Hobart, Darren Gilbert from Bluffton High School. So here comes Bogart in the gun. He's got Wooster to his right. He's got a man in motion. He's got two receivers to the right. He's going to keep it himself, go up across, and he's not going to get much Garrett at all. Bogart. That front four just destroys young Mr. Bogart. Yeah, in the they pocket. all stayed at home, didn't they? They and sure just did. Did their fundamental Mustang. formation there. And it's a great point there by uh, the technique director Alex Hanna, as he called him a stampede of Mustangs. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was one of those where, uh-oh, where do I go? Because when you look up and it's all white, you try to get as much as you can, and protect the football. So here comes Bogart in the gun. He's got Wooster behind him. He's under center this time. And the tight end moved, Darren. I saw him move off the line. Well, I think so it was more than <laughs> like You saw one, sprint. and I think there was two of them that moved. You're right. The left side, let's put it that way. So in the last in the six plays from, from the Allen 15. East and Bluffton, we've had three false starts. So uh, yeah, the tacklers or the tackles are dancing. Yes, that's right. That's right. So that'll bring up second and 15 from the 15. Bogart rolls to his right. He looks downfield. He's flushed out of the pocket. That ball is deflected and almost picked off, and it hit the ground, and uh, could have been disaster. Yeah, I think it was either Burger Joseph Hole or, excuse me, or Keaton Wireman got their hands on it, batted it down. By number six. This is no good, oh, Darren. As you okay. look across the sideline, number 27 for the Pirates, Landon Wooster, is hobbling on the sideline over there, being attended to by the Allen East staff as they've got an injury. So we've got an injury on the field. We'll take a timeout here in the booth with 7.39 to go. You're watching High School Sports right here on WOSN. Welcome back to Bluffton High School. The injured player being helped off the field was number 27, Landon Wooster, and that is a huge blow for the Pirates, Darren, as he is a very versatile player and does a lot, both offensively and defensively. And he was walking off very gingerly, so we'll have to wait and see if he comes back in the game. Yeah, the sophomore, good to see him walking off. I know he was uh, helped off by his coaches and the trainer. So this is Bogart in the gun. I'm wondering if he got his, looks like he got his bell rung a yes, little bit. Yes, here comes Bogart. He looks across the field, throws across the field. He's got his man out there. Bogart's pass complete to number 17. Complete number 17. Dirth. Brought down by number 18, Dirth. Trey Hensley. Nice size on that young man. Long, nice pass six there. Three. That's going to bring up, uh, looks like, fourth and two. Brings up fourth and two for the Pirates. And the Pirates are going to go. Well, no, they, they thought about going for it for a second from the 28, but uh, I think that's a better plan to punt the ball away and let your defense work a little. But now your defense is in a disadvantage with Wooster being out of the game. 
So back deep for the Mustangs is number eight, Joseph Hull. He stands back at about the 35, 36 yard line. Another end over, end over kick. Hole's going to get it on the bounce. He's going to go to his left. He's got blockers out there. He makes a cut back. He gets back to the 45, so he gets Basil about a 10-yard gain. Brought down by Landon Joel. Shuttler with a nice solo tackle there the by the Pirates. So 6.41 to go here, Darren. And I'll tell you, a, a, a long drive here and a score could put this game away uh, if, if they get it in the end zone. Let's say it goes 24 nothing. That'd be a tough, tough comeback. For well, Pirates. even at 17 to nothing, there's going to be a point where sure. Coach Richards and his coaching staff is going to have to change up the game plan a sure. little bit. Unfortunately, when you when you get into that position, you got to pull out you know all the tricks and everything because they do need to score. So here's and Hershberg. Keep Allen East off the scoreboard. He throws to the right side. I think that bounced. And it oh, looks like it, it to early pass. pass. Boy, I don't know, Darren. That that looked like it hit it the ground, complete. but they're saying it was complete to Jack. Hull, He's right there to Joseph. Oh yeah. He's right there for the call. To Joe. Gain of about five on the care or on the completion. So Allen East will go no huddle as they've got two receivers to the left. Hershberger's going to hand the ball off to Jack Hole. He goes off the left side and slipped, or Jack he could have been gone. He hit the middle of the Tripped field. And, uh, yeah, he saw something because he was getting ready. He planted that left foot, and it slid out from underneath him. He was going to get his shoulder square and get a bunch of yards right there. For the so, Mustangs. Allen East again goes with no huddle. They've got Hershberger in the gun. They've got Jack Hole behind him. He'll hand off to Jack Hole, who goes off the left side, and they have found something there on the left side. There and was that, the cutback that the time, and he just by 54, pounded it to the first down marker. That's another Binkley Real Estate first down. Binkley Real Estate has improved sales approach. Effective Mark marketing campaign and an extensive network that will get you results and, and move you. Preston now, Darren, we've both seen Bluffton this year, and they're a solid team, and you're watching them just – Really, you're watching the cream of the crop when it comes to Allen East. They are right now the best team in the conference. Well, there goes Hershberger to the right side. He's got a lot of green out there. He's going to take it into the end zone for another Allen East touchdown. And I didn't mean to step on your partner. You started no, to say. No, that's okay. Wait, well, you know, I wanted to watch Mr. Hershberger when he turned. It's almost like it was the same play touchdown. that he got loose yep. on the other one. You know, you're looking at Allen East predominantly coming back into this season as one of the favorites in the conference. And Bluffton is one of those surprise teams. And sure. Even though they're down 23 right now, uh, they're putting up a, a oh, heck of a look. valiant effort. And <laughs> there's not a lot of folks that give them the opportunity to be coming into this game at 4-0 in the conference. They are a solid, solid ball club. So here's the try for the point after. Kick is up, kick and is it is good. good. So with 5.23 to go, the Alice Mustangs have taken a 24 to nothing lead. When we come back, we'll have the conclusion of the third quarter right here on WOSN. Our timeout sponsor tonight is brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Kennedy Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Another to touchdown for tonight for the, or for the Allen East Mustangs. Touchdown celebrations are brought to you by Springfield Fireworks in Bluffton, your one-stop shop for the largest selection of fireworks and novelty items. Open seven days a week, 9 until 8. I wish we had real fireworks out here. Today. Yeah, little fireworks. I wish we had a little bit of heat. <laughs> Yeah. Wishful <laughs> thinking, though. Now, our camera crew, she looks a little, she looks warmer than us, Darren. I mean, she's got the uh, headgear yeah. on and the gloves. She does. <laughs> so here come the Bluffton Pirates as they'll take the kick at about the five yard line, bring it up to about the 20. A nice return as they're taken down by a host of about a 15 Mustangs. yard return. That's probably a good word for it. Was brought down by a bunch of Mustangs. A would, would that Thurston be a corral of Mustangs? Yeah. Yeah, let's just Bye. go with yeah, Mr. Mr. Hanna. Alex Hanna, the PA announcer, still in a good mood right now. Yes, yes, he is. We got a three man crew tonight you, me, yeah. and Alex Hanna. <laughs> Doing a hey, great Alex job. treats us great out he, here. He, he, he does treats a phenomenal great. job. He does. Here. He keeps coming by apologizing because we're outside. Darren, it's a beautiful night. <laughs> it's chilly, but it's a beautiful night. It is a beautiful night. <laughs> yeah. This is high school football, brother. We need to be cold and anxious and ready to go. So here come the Pirates. They try to get back in this one. Down 24 to nothing with 5.15 to go. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from Bluffton High School. Bogart's in the gun. 
He's got a single set back behind him. He's got trips to his right. He's going to throw across the right side. It was off the hands of one receiver and picked up by another. It's like, look what I found. It I went think off the hands. Mr. Eaches. Eaches. It went off the hands of his brother Bogart. Up another and Eaches gets the, the carom in the air. Pirates. It's going to bring That's up a, a good job off that tip drill right absolutely. there. Concentration wise to secure that football. It's going to bring up a Binkley Real Estate first down. You know the thing is, the loser of this game is only going to be one game out sure. or two. Two games to go, so anything can a lot happen. of things can happen. You know, Bluffton remaining schedule, they play Delvis Jefferson next week, and then they close with Columbus Grove. A little pitch back there. They get the ball out to number four. Almost breaks the tackle. Bogart's pass complete to number four. Griffin Stackhouse brought down by number four, Keaton Lehman. Griffin Stackhouse. Lehman and Hershberger right. yeah. on the stop. And then you look at Alan Lee's schedule. They've got Leipzig next week. And close out with Ada, both He's games at home. One for the Pirates from the 40-yard line. I'll be in Allen East next week covering the Lipsig Vikings and the Allen East Mustangs. There you go. That contest. And if uh, possibly could be a clinching game for the, uh, uh, depending on how it all plays out tonight, we don't know scores. But And there's another flag there. Uh, He's got Landon Shuttler in the back. Of ball behind it, and he flips Pirates. the ball back, but the flag comes in. Brings up second and six. You know, coming in tonight, Allen East was ranked number four in Division Six, Region 24. Bluffton at number 16 in Division Five, Region 18. So both of these teams are in right now, but mm -hmm. we'll have to see what happens with the Pirates as they're in the 16 hole, right? Yeah, Bluffton's yeah. going to have to have some help. They got Delphus yeah. Jefferson next week. Uh, a Division Seven school, Region Twenty Six, sure. and then they close out with Columbus Grove here at Bluffton, who's number four in Division Six, Region Twenty Two. So here's Bogart He's pass. Got He's got his. Oh, oh, he about brought it in. Bogart to Bogart, and he Garrett leaps. Bogart He's got it on 21. his fingertips, Gavin and it Bogart goes off the incomplete. ground and falls incomplete. Yeah, I think he got the wind knocked out of him. He extended. What a what a heck of an effort by that young man. Darren, I, I've seen a lot of good catches this year. If he makes that one, that could have been the catch of the year. Well, what a well-thrown ball oh by that goodness. young man. Nice yeah. tight spiral. So Garrett Bogart throws Great one effort. to Gavin Bogart and almost makes an incredible catch, but the ball goes off. That'll bring yeah, up Gavin, third and six from the 35-yard line. Gavin's been very active on both sides of the football tonight for the Pirates. A lot so, of kids going both ways tonight, partner. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Nice evening for it, though. Here comes Bogart as he looks across the middle. He's got his man out there. Catch is made, and that's going to be Bogart's pass. Uh, Binkley Real Estate number first 17, down. Hayden Durth. Hayden Durth knew where the marker Brought was and got right three, in front of him. Jacob Hershberger, number 18, Trey Hensley. Brings Hen up another first and ten Pirates. Henley and Hershberger on the stop. Nice pitch and catch there. It's a three big, big go. night for Hayden Durth, reception wise. Bogart's going to roll to his right. He's going to throw to the right side. He's got a man out there. That's number 11, Braden Jordan. Number 11, Braden Jordan, brought down by number 24. That's going to move the Kimmel. chains again. Brings another another Binkley Real Estate first down. Pirates. Clock continues to run, 2.52 to go. Braden Kimmett on the stop. So the, or the Pirates are in Mustang territory at the 45-yard line, putting together a nice drive here. See really nice get. job by Landon Shuttler protecting the quarterback there. Getting him free to make that Bogart quick steps pitch up in the pocket. Catch. He's going to be swarmed at the line of scrimmage. Maybe pick up a yard Garrett, thrown the forward by, by the Allen East defense, or otherwise he would have took a loss. Layman. Oh, yeah, and he did a really good job leaning forward, Short letting his momentum the carry him second and eight from the 43. to gain positive yards there. He tried to get as much as he could. He did. That'll bring up second and eight from the 43-yard line. Good to see Gavin Bogart back in the game. 24 to nothing, 2.10 to go on the clock here in the third quarter. 
Pirates on the move. Bogart's in the gun. He's going to roll off to his left side. He's going to throw back across his body. He's got a man down there, and that's going to be picked off. Picked off for the Mustang defensive back, and he's taken down number 13 for Allen East. That's Bogart Bryce Avery. And really Bryce an ill-advised pass. He was covered really well. Yeah, he had to really get his feet set to let that one go, going to his left and under through his receiver. Great job there stepping in, like you said. So the best drive of the second by half Bryce for the Avery. Pirates is thwarted by the Mustang defense. And, uh, boy, you, you, know, you know the kids from Allen East are hoping for a shutout because they're still playing really, really hard. So 157 to go. Danny over Darren Gilbert from Bluffton High School, homecoming 2022. Congratulations to all those young men and women on that court tonight. Beautiful ceremony before the game on a completely packed house. And Darren said earlier, we've got hundreds of people standing around the fence. So here comes Hershberger. He's going to roll to his left. Oh, He's going to be hit hard. My and goodness. the ball's out. It's loose. Landing Jacob oh, Hershberger went back to his right side. Got, gets ready to throw, and he is absolutely he, destroyed. He, uh, he had no idea coming from the blind side. But you know what? Another. And a lot of people's not going to see it, but as soon as he got popped and that ball come out and the play was ruled down, mm -hmm. Hershberger popped up and slapped hands I saw, with Landon I saw the, Shuttler yeah. and patted him on the, the rear end or the back side. Yeah, he did. You're absolutely right. Great sportsmanship right there. So the Pirates get a break here as they get the first turnover of the night for them and uh, try to tack one on here from the 16-yard line. Bogart's in the gun. He's going to throw to the right side. He's got a man out there. Oh, an unbelievable defensive play Bogart's by number 16, Cade Wireman. Did you see Bogart how he got his arm Cade out there Weirman. and dove for that ball? Well, they've had two or three situations where Bluffin has found something, and I think Alan East made a decision to change up their formation right. a little bit yeah. defensively, and yeah. they're very lucky that ball wasn't picked off because he had – real estate in front of him that he yes, could have took that thing to the to the house. Yes, he did. 145 to go here. Yeah, this is 10. one where they got to come away with some points here. You're absolutely right. If you're the Pirates. Bogart's in the gun. He's going to roll his right. He's going to hand off oh, to the first man. Inside this reverse. Is nice call. A little onside reverse there, as Noah Gilly Bricker said. Carry Noah Bricker takes it up to Pete the five-yard line, and that was a nice play. Yeah, absolutely. nice play. I believe that's going to put him in a first and goal. Yep, first, first and goal. So first and goal from the five-yard line. The clock continues to run. 1.30 to go here in the third quarter. Pirates down 24-0. Mustang defense trying to stop him from getting the end zone. They're going to pitch back to Shuttler. Shuttler's going to go to the right side. He's going to be taken down. Maybe a Landed gain of one Shuttler if on that gets back to the Brought original line of scrimmage. 54. Brogan Paxson on the stop. And I'll tell you, Gilly, sometimes when you get Number up in 16, first and goal, Kay second Wyman. goal, you don't have a lot of room to work. So well, your receivers and, don't have a lot of room. Right. And, and the quarterback likes to have that 10, 12 yards. Absolutely. You know, to, to work with. And, you know, Alan East, like you said earlier, they pitched that shutout against a really good Columbus Grove team. You know, this is one that Bluffton's going to have to find something to their liking to get it in the end zone. So Shuttler tries to go up the middle, and he is stuffed. He oh, is stuffed. Oh, look at that second effort, though. Oh, He's trying. Shuttler on the carry Fantastic again. effort by Landon Shuttler, but he does not get in, and the clock continues to run. That'll bring up third down from the two-yard line, so they got two more cracks at it here, Gilly. Yeah, Braylon Kimmett put some pressure from the outside, did enough just to, sh to slow down. Shuttler for his Bring teammates to come in two. and bust the play up. So it looks like Coach Richards is going to elect to let the clock run down. And uh, that doesn't make some of the locals uh, a little happy here. They're hollering down at the coach. Well, it's so. as good as a timeout. Absolutely. You know, it's yeah. as good as a timeout. You can talk about it. You're in two down territory while saving your timeouts. So at the end of three quarters from Lufton High School here on Homecoming 2022, the visiting Allen East Mustangs lead 24 to nothing. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Welcome back to Bluffton High School where we're getting ready to start the fourth quarter. The Allen East Mustangs lead 24 to nothing. 
and the Pirates have the ball. Third and goal from the two-yard line. Darren, I got I got to believe Bogart keeps it himself or Shuttler up the middle. I'm more interested to in see what Alan East is going to do defensively to try to can keep the football out of the end zone. But I'm so, like you, I think they're going to put it in the hands of the quarterback. Bogart goes under center. And we're Shuttler wrong. goes they up the middle. Shuttler. And it looks like he's going to be he close. for the touchdown. <laughs> That's a Springfield Fireworks touchdown. One-stop shop for the largest selection of fireworks and novelty items. Open seven days a week from 9 until 8. Springfield Fireworks is our touchdown sponsor. So the Pirates get on the board for the first time tonight as they're still down 24-6, to but showing a little life here in the fourth quarter. Well, what a great job by the offensive line. Start with Diller at center, Culver and Granger at the guard position, and Riemann and Eden at the tackle spots. So they'll try to attack on the extra point here, down 24 to 6. Snap is, oh, they're going to go for two. Bogart looks across the middle. He's going to roll to his right under heavy pressure. He throws into the end zone. And he, he's got a man out there, and he completes it. It went over the head of one receiver, Darren, and Noah Brickard catches it. Now, that, well, Mil it Miller had him, and what a great job pulling up getting his feet set and just letting it go to the corner of the end zone to the pylon. But Mr. He, Bricker yeah. apparently pulled Here's it in. More. Here's the Bluffton significance of that, Darren. It makes it a two-possession game now. Sure does. So Bluffton right back in this. So 11.56 to go. We're going to take another timeout here in the fourth quarter. The Pirates showing some fight down 24-8. Welcome back to Bluffton High School with 11.56 to go. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from Bluffton High School and homecoming 2022. The home standing Pirates show some life as they get a touchdown and a nice two-point conversion, Darren. It looked like it was going to go over the receiver's head. Yeah, like I said, Mr. Miller had him, had him in his grasp or come close to having him in his grasp. And Dylan great Binkley. job with the feet right there. Number 20, Dylan Binkley, and number 13, Gary Bogart. Return for the Mustangs. Let's see Making it. that quick flip to the corner of the end zone. So a little bit of trickery there by the Pirates as they try to go onside kick. And uh, that Trying to see <laughs> who that was, pairing to be number seven, Carson Klum. Carson Klum may be the best athlete on the team, <laughs> other than Jacob Hershberger. Yeah, really right good it. job just fundamentally getting down on the ground, protecting, you know, shielding the, the football away from the Pirates. Now you take a gamble here because now the Mustangs have the ball at the 43. Excellent field position with 11.56 to go if they can put together a nice long drive. I got yeah, or, or you're bluffing and you put them in a long third sure, situation sure. here and get a stop and get the football back. So Hershberger's in the gun. He's got Jack Hole to his right. He's got two receivers to the left. Hershberger's going to go to the right side. He's following Hole's lead. Hole's leading the block up front. Hershberger's going to kick it. He's going to pick up a Binkley real estate Jacob first down. Did you carry. see him, Darren? He had his hand on Hole's lane. back, and he just followed the number lead. 12. Yeah, he rode him right through the hole and put that shoulder down Brings into his down defender. For the Mustangs. Brought down by Wyatt Lovell after a first down by the Mustangs. Our scoreboard is made possible by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lyman Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in Lyman and Bluffton. So Web Insurance is our scoreboard sponsor. I think we got a problem with the chains on the far side. Instant replays are provided by Eastside Insurance tonight. Visit eastsideinsurance.com. Eastside Insurance is our instant replay sponsor. What do we have on the field, Gilly? Uh, it's a chain problem on the far side. It's a chain problem, so got some problems over there. So, Gilly, why we got some time here, let's talk about the big battle up in East Lansing tomorrow. The Buckeyes travel to Michigan State. What you'd say like to, you? You'd like, to believe, you'd like to believe it's a no contest. I hope you're right. But that's a tough place to play a number two. I did see a red that they're bringing out the green uniforms. Oh, no, the last time And they the helmets them when they beat Ohio State. In the shoe. I in the that. shoe. Yes. Yep. Yeah, if Ohio State just stays with their game plan, they're getting better and better. Absolutely. They'll take it one game at a time. You still want to say it's crisp out? Because <laughs> the aluminum seats look, are look at our the aluminum seats are a little cold. 
<laughs> no, it is not crisp out anymore, Gilly. It is daggone cold. <laughs> Uh, now, it's cold, Jack Gilly, for, for October. Now, this would be Run warm in February, correct? So that's why you got to look at it, right? You know, the late Aaron Matthews, <laughs> we went down, Short gain on did the a playoff game last year with St. Mary's and Bethel. We drove down to Trotwood, Madison, and it happened to sleet, and it was snowing and blowing. But we had a great time. We laughed and joked. But I'm telling you, when I got in the car, I was – Literally shaking. That's how cold it was. So. Now, see, Aaron and I worked the game before that. Uh, we had Wapak and uh, I can't remember the school down in Dayton. And uh, it was rather cold that oh, night, too. Oh, there's Mr. Luganville. Xavier oh, Luganville takes Max. down Jacob Hershberger in the backfield. Max Sack. So, Darren, that's going to bring up a third down and long. Exactly what you Huge said Bluffton needed to play. do. Did you hear what Mr. Hanna just said? A big Max sack. <laughs> big Max sack. So it's a a, third and maybe the local McDonald's passing out Big Macs. Is that what oh I understand? Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, goodness sakes. Well, if you own one, it's definitely advertising. That's right. It? That's right. Nice play there by the young man. So that's going to bring up third and 16 from the 48. Hershberger's in the gun. He's going to keep it himself. He's going to go across the middle. He's got a blocker out front. He's got all kinds oh of moves. Goodness. He's going to get to the corner, and he's going to pick he's up the first down. He's going to get to the pylon or he's oh, all close. He goodness. knew exactly where he had to go, didn't he? He, You are so brings right, up, Darren. He went straight the to the first down marker, and that's demoralizing for the Bluffton defense. Well, and mm -hmm. the reason why I'm saying that, because he's running to the opposite side of where the markers are, but he knew exactly where he was. Yes. He was not going to get hit, and he was going to step out of bounds. That's going to bring up another Binkley Real Estate first down. So Jacob Hershberger continues to dominate on the ground. He's in the gun. He's going to hand the ball off to Hole. Hole is taken down again. Oh, my goodness. Mr. Hey. Luganbill just in the backfield wrapped him up. Luganbill. Look, I, I, I don't know what Xavier Luganville's future plans are, but that young man can play at the next level. He is really good. Short loss on the play. Brings up second and 11 for the Mustangs. So here comes Allen. He's second and 11, 9.35 to go. Hershberger's in the gun. He's got Jack Holt on the right side. He's got Hopkins to the far right side. He's got two receivers to his left. I mean, they, they were in a position where Alan East started to have to double team him just to keep him out of the backfield. I think they went back to single. He oh, goes down the nice right side. He's ball. got Hopkins out there, and he's got it. But was he in bounds? Let's see what the call is. No, they're going to say he was out of bounds. Hopkins beat his man in the corner, and a beautiful pass by Hershberger, but he was just out of bounds. Hershberger's pass intended for number six, Caleb Hopkins. Darren, he flipped that ball 40 yards in the air with no effort. He's got a really strong arm. Wyatt Lovell on the coverage. Yeah, there's no wobble to it. Ball it was tight. Oh, yes, you're right. It was a tight spiral. So now we're at third and 11 from 37. 9-11 to go. Mustangs lead 24 to 8. Hershberger's going to keep it himself. He's going to go to the right side. He's got blockers out in front. Nice and he's play gonna take by it down. Mr. Culver. So a great play Used by Colton. Used his hands. Carry, brought down by number got 65, his hands Preston high on the offensive lineman, shedded the block, and made the stop. So fourth and about eight so to go. Fourth down and eight. From, from the, the 34, 34 I can line. see Alan East going for it here, Darren, with uh, 8.45 to go. Let's see if they'll take a timeout and discuss this. And it I looks like Billings, Coach Billings is – Willing to let some of the time go off. Let's see, like you said, if he does. I think he's going to take a timeout here. One here. With the play clock running down, it's down to five now. So let's see what they do. And that is exactly what they're going to do. Allen East is going to time take a timeout. Out we'll take a timeout here in the booth. With 8 21 to go in the game. Allen East leads 24 8 on WSN. Welcome back to Bluffton High School with 821 to go. Pirates down to the Mustangs, 24 to 8. Mustangs are going to go for it on fourth the eight from the 34. Hershberger's in the gun. Hershberger was back to pass. He's got a man out there, and it's caught. 
It's completed number four. And first Gilly, I'll be honest with you, I thought we had an offsides. It looked Senior like there was movement. Four. It happened so Keaton quick. Lehman. Keaton Lehman got behind the secondary, and Hershberger just threw it up for grabs, and he makes the completion, and that's going to put the ball at about the seven-yard line. I mean, both ball club, both ball clubs moved. You know what I'm saying? It was yes. Hershberger is going to hand the hole. Hole's going to go up the middle, and he's going to get yeah, to the goal line, the and he's going to take it in for a Mustang like touchdown. touchdown. Allen East. Touchdown celebrations are brought to you by Springfield Fireworks of Bluffton, your one-stop shop for the largest selection of fireworks and novelty items. Open seven days a week from nine until eight. Yeah, great effort defensively by Eaches and Culver, just to strengthen the momentum of getting the shoulder square and well, that defense for Bluffton staying low been on and the field a long time. Yes, yeah. they have. 7.57 to go. The Mustangs lead 30 to 8. They're going to try to tack on the extra point here. Braylon Kennedy in the kick for the Mustangs. Yeah, they took some time off the clock and punched it in. Kick is up, and it is no, is good. no good. A low snap. Bluffton 8, Alanis 30. So with 7.57 to go here in the game, the Alanis Mustangs have a commanding 30 to 8 lead. We're watching high school football right here on WSL. Welcome back to Bluffton High School, 7.57 to go. Allen East Mustangs lead 30 to eight. So, a special thank you here to the Allen, or the, excuse me, to the Bluffton administration. Mike Minnick, principal. Craig, Craig Denneker, excuse me, the superintendent, and Alex Hanna, the athletic Ritter director. And Griffin Stackhouse so back to receive All three for the good Pirates. guys, all three oh, friends yeah. of yours, Gilly. Oh yeah. yeah. All three in the basketball fraternity. Superintendent Absolutely. Deniker, he used to be a... He's a Kaleida guy, right? <laughs> uh, he actually was a coach at one time, an administrator at Allen East. Okay, all right. So Stackhouse receives the ball back at the five-yard line. He's going to try to get across the 20. He'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. That's where the Pirates will take over. Griffin Stackhouse on the return. So with the, right with the uh, cold weather coming Trey on here Hensley pretty good, it's really getting frosty out here. The uh, stands fire. have got a little thin here tonight, Gilly, as some of the folks have called it tonight. But Avery and Hensley on the stop there for Allen East. Yeah. Yep. It's going to be a lot of heaters turned on tonight. Yeah, I was going to say, the, the heat's in the heat in the house gets turned on tonight. So here comes Bogart. He's in the gun. He's got trips to his left. He's got... Single back, and he's going to throw off to the side. He's got a man out there. Completion. Pass complete to number 11, Braden Jordan. Braden out of Jordan by number about seven a catch of about plum. 12 yards. Nice, so nice route run right there by Mr. Jordan. Nice pickup by Braden Jordan. I didn't happen to see the toss, but it was right there when he made the turn back to the football. The football was right there. So that is great execution. Effective timeout saving football there as they're using the sidelines to get out of bounds, stop the clock. Bogart's in the gun. He's got a single setback, and he's got trips. He's going to throw down the right side. He's got a man out there long. And that is, it looked like it was oh, picked off. But my, my goodness. goodness. Bogart pass complete. Brave Jordan, Jordan somehow Jordan. comes up with the catch, Darren. Brings up another first and Carson, Carson Clum and right. Mr. Jordan went up one one on one after that, almost like a rebound. And Mr. Jordan secured the football. And he and Carson Klum both went up for it. It looked like Klum oh, he had was the in a great He was in yeah. a great position defensively. It was just one of those that Jordan happened to get his hands on it and secured just a little bit tighter. 7.05 to go here in the fourth quarter. Pirates on the move again. Bogart's going to roll to his left. He's got a blocker in front of him. He's going to throw off to the left. He's got a man out there. Goes off the hands. Number 21, Brady Brook. I'm sorry, excuse me, number 21. Gavin Bogart, his Garrett brother. Bogart's pass intended for number 21, Gavin Bogart. That stops the clock with 6.57 to go. Full yeah. hit complete. I'm trying to see who that was. Brings up second and 10. The intended receiver popped him, popped oh. him on the sidelines over there. I mean, that's one of those where they were waiting for him to secure it. I'm almost thinking it was number 13. I believe it was. Bryce Avery. 6.57 to go, second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Bogart's in the gun. He looks across the midfield, steps up in the pocket. He's under heavy pressure, and he's going to go down. And that, Bogart my friend, was a coverage sack because nobody yes. was open. Yep, they come from both sides, and they had, to, they had the center secure. Number one. 
Landon Keith Reiser Miller. makes the sack, and he's going off the field, holding that left shoulder, and it looks like he is in a little bit of pain there. Keaton Miller on the stop, along with Brogan Paxson. That'll keep the clock running at 6.25. You got to believe this is going to be two down territory for the Pirates. Third and 12 from the 35. Danny Hamburg, Darren Gilbert from Bluffton High School. Bogart's in the gun. He looks across the left. He's got a man to the right. And a sensational catch. Fast, complete. Number 17, Hayden Number 17, Durth. Hayden Durth down, just reaches out of the sky, Kane Darren, and pulls Wyron. it down. That's six, that six three frame. Danny, he, he's done a phenomenal job, you know, getting his hands extended. Because I'll tell you what, that's tough because you know those DBs are going to be waiting on you. But I think with the exception of maybe one ball tonight, he secured all of them that's been thrown his way. So the Pirates are on the move with 5.49 to go. Here comes Bogart rolling to the right. He's got a man out there. And they're going to say the ball hit the ground. It looked like it could have been a completion, but it did hit the ground. So pass was intended for number 17, Hayden Durth. I'm sorry, number 11 looks that like to me. Jordan. Yeah, Brayden Jordan. That'll stop the clock with 5.40 to go. Second 10 from the 18-yard line. Bogart did a good job there throwing that football, though. He threw it low enough where the defender wasn't going to get their hands on it. There's Bogart at the gun again. He throws across the middle. He's got a man out there. He's got his brother. He gets to the, looks like he Bogart, gets to the, and he's in for a touchdown. He's in for a Springfield Fireworks touchdown. Your one-stop shop for the largest selection of fireworks and lovely items open seven days a week from 9 until 8. The Bluffton Pirates score another touchdown, and they close the gap to 30 to 14. Yeah, that's big for Bluffton Gavin right Bogart there. Pass. Complete, Gavin Bogart. They marched that football right down the field. Very effective throwing the ball in that drive, were they not? So they're going to go for two. We've got Bogart in the gun. He's flanked by Landon Shuttler. Bogart's going to look to pass. He's going to roll to his right. He's going to go back to his right side, and he just misses the receiver. Pass was intended for Aaron number Bogart's four, for Griffin number four, Stackhouse. Griffin Stackhouse. That'll make it 30 to 14. Five minutes remaining. Your score. So with 532 to go, the Alanis, Alanis Mustangs 30. continue to lead 30 to 14 right here on WSN. here at Bluffton High School with 5.32 to go, and Landon Reisner was hurt the play before uh, the, the touchdown, again, and they have taken Valley him to the locker room there, and it looks like he was holding his shoulder. Like, uh, he's, 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 fa he's favoring the left yeah. shoulder. Sorry, so we I hope thought that I had the mic turned everything works off. Out for him. Yes, absolutely. So get ready for the onside Bryce kick here, Gilly, Avery. with 5.32 to go. See if they can pull it off. The hands team and is up for Allen East. Jack Holbeck. Yeah, they tried it earlier, and Carson Klum did a great job securing the football for the Mustangs. There it is. High bounce, and it's just going to be picked up. Goes right into the bread basket of, let's see who that is across the field. Number number 14, it looked like to me. Carson, no, I'm sorry. Kate 14, Hedrick. Caden Hedrick, yes. Yep. I was looking Wide at the receiver. wrong roster. Junior. Right, his roster, and Alan East roster. A little mixed up there. So with 5.32 to go, the Allen East Mustangs are going to try to close this one out up 30 to 14. Basil's kick is down at the 42-yard line. Brings up first and 10 for Allen East. So, partner, we were cruising right along in that first quarter, that first half, and uh, this one's been a little longer, but uh, a little more fireworks this half. Well, you you got to feel good if you're bluffing to take the football down down 30 to what 30 to 38 yeah 38 and to punch it in against the one of the best defenses absolutely in the northwest conference so hershberger's in the gun he's going to hand the ball off the hole and hole continues to punish the middle of that defense as he picks up jack, seven jack big hole yards on the carry brought down by number 65 jack hole jack hole come into the game with 618 yards and he is well over 100 yards tonight darren and he and Hershberger have just formed an incredible one-two punch. Yeah, take your pick. It's either going to be Hershberger with his legs or, you know, ground and pound with Mr. Hole. You know, he drug right there Mr. Culver 
about three yards. He just he's so low when he gets his shoulder square and explosive and leans the right direction. Tries to get as much as he can on every possession. Hershberger's going to hand the ball to Hole, and he was hit in the backfield, and he shed some blockers, and he's going to pick up a first down. That was all grit and effort there at Gilly. He was hit in the backfield, yeah, and he just took that tackler on. That's just 20, power. Gavin Bogart, 54, Cam Coughlin, 23, Carson Cruzy, number one, Landon Shuttler. A host of Pirates on the stop. First down for Allen East. There was a collision in the backfield, and he did not phase at all. He just kept that Well, he ball. tried to bounce it outside, then he tried to use the stiff arm. And, and, and Gilly, now watch what Hershberger's doing here. He's taking the snap with about two seconds to go. That's senior leadership. He knows exactly what he's doing, and he's running that clock down every time they have the possession. There. Well, and that's also credit to your coaching staff and preparation and practice. And both of these coaches, you know, have, you know, they didn't win four games in a row as right. flukes either. Here comes Hole again as he gets through the middle of the field. He's going to pick up close to a first down. Did he fumble the ball? The ball was on the ground, but I think he got it back. Yeah, Shuttler made an effort to go yeah, for the Cole football. The Brought down by number 23, Carson Cruzy, and number one, Landon Shuttler. He picks up about nine Cruzy yards. Cruzy on, on the, the stop carry. along with Landon Shuttler. And now, Gilly, those one, two, three yard plays in the first quarter are now seven, eight, nine yard mm -hmm. plays. That Allen East offensive line has done a fantastic job here in the second half. So the clock continues to run at 3.15. Allen East leads 30 to 14. They've got second and one from the 37. Now yeah, they're, they're satisfied just to take some time off the clock. Here comes Hole up the middle again. He's going to pick up the first down. Oh, there's a flag as Hole breaks away from the pack. Stiff arming defenders, and let's see what the flag is all about yeah, here. Yeah, Cole on the carry, pushed out of bounds by number 32. I think it's going to be a Carson hold. Carson Cruzy and number 11, Braden Jordan. Flag on the play. Did that not look a little bit like Derrick Henry right there? <laughs> yes, that it did. man is tough to bring yes, down. He, on Allen East. he broke through, got to the secondary, and just tried to stiff arm his way to the end zone and. That gang tackled and lassoed out of bounds by two yeah, or three did. pirates. It's gonna bring but it's unfortunately going to come back for a hold. Second down and four from the 40. Play goes back from the spot of the foul. Second and four from the 40 with 2.56 to go. As they tell the man in the booth to start that clock again. So Mr. Hirschberger is going to let that wind down the 25 seconds. And I'll tell you, Gilly, a first down here pretty much uh, kills, the, kills it all here. So Hershberger is, clocks at 10. Gets it at five seconds, gives it to Hole, goes up the middle, just bouncing off tacklers. He picks up another, Jack Hole again on another, the carry. I say another, Binkley Real Estate first down. Yeah, give a lot of credit, like you said, to the offensive line for opening up the holes right there. Clock continues to run at 2.25, and they will snap this next one under two minutes. I think Hayden Durth, number 17, was in on the stop right there for the Pirates. Bluffton has three timeouts left. Uh, Allen East has two timeouts left, according to the board that we're looking at. So Hershberger is going to take the snap with under the two-minute mark. He's going to hand the ball to Hole. This is the sixth run in a row for Hull, and he's going to be taken down behind Jack the line Hull of scrimmage. Brought down in the backfield by but Preston Culver, Gavin Bogart, and Quinn Eaches. Clock Eaches, continues to run. Bogart, Culver on the stop. Loss of two there for Mr. Hone, Jack Hone. Brings up second 12 from the 32. Clock continues to run. 128 to go. And 12 from the 32. Hershberger waits for his coach to give him the instruction. Clock's going to run down to four, three, two. They're going to take a delay a game here. Yes, they are. Or timeout. 
they're going to get a timeout. So we're going to keep it here with a minute eight to go. So, Derek, Gilly, you, you had talked earlier about the schedule. Who, who do both of these teams have left? You had that, you had said that earlier. Let me take a look here, partner. I got this all nestled into my stuff here. <laughs> Sir, I should have asked you before you started uh, organizing all your paperwork here. Yeah. I know that we had talked. Now you ask me, and I don't know where it is. That's okay. I know we had talked that. Uh, that uh, I think you told me you've got Lipsick next week. Yes, Alan East has Lipsick next Alan week. And Alan East, and then they finish up with the eight of Bulldogs. Yes. And, and Bluffton has Dolphins Jefferson remaining. And uh, Columbus Grove. Yes. yes. They go to Jefferson next week, and then they finish up at home here yes. at Harmon Field with Columbus Grove. So not, not opportunity, easy, yeah. opportunities are still there for Bluffton to get into that that's, one of 16 yeah, spots. Six, you're right, the 16th spot, you're right. Oh, it's actually here in front of me. <laughs> yeah, right now, Allen East is number four in Region 24, Division 6. They have Lipsick at home, and then they turn around, they play eight at home also. Hershberger's going to keep it himself. He goes across the right side. He goes towards the end zone. He's going to be taken, thrown out of bounds at about the eight, nine yard Jacob line on with one minute to go. Wyatt. That's Double. going to do it. That's going to pick up another first down. First down. And all they can do is victory formation, Gilly. Yep, Wyatt Lovell chased him out at the boundary over there. And then Bluffton, <laughs> as we mentioned earlier, goes to Delphus Jefferson and then plays Columbus Grove at home to conclude the regular season. So here comes Hole up the middle. He's going to keep it again, and it's going to bring up second Jack down. The but carry. the clock's going to continue to run. They should get one more playoff, and Run that will do it. Gavin Bogart. You know, and Joe Heidel does such a great job yes, of keeping does. everything updated. I mean, on typically, he's on there Friday night after the games and updating yeah. things, and then he's already got control on Destiny. He doesn't have teams eliminated, but I'm sure that's going to be sure. you know, mentioned. So Hershberger is going to take a knee, and that is going to do it. The That'll clock it. will run out. Final score. The Bluffton, final score 14, from Bluffton 30. High School on homecoming Bluffton 2022. The Allen East Mustangs Friday come into Bluffton and walk out with a 30-14 to 14 win. Darren, your final thoughts. Well, both coach and staffs did a great job preparing for this game. I know Coach Richards is going to be disappointed but he's had some lean years in there and the effort that his kids gave tonight especially being down like they were and coming back and scoring that touchdown I know it's not indicative of 30 to 14 but there's something positive that he can take from that into the film studies going into the last two weeks of the regular season Alan East on the road did what they had to do they put 30 on the board they held Bluffton in check for the most part of the ball game. You know, as the season winds down, they control their own destiny for a league championship. They got to take care of Lipsick and then wrap it up against the Bulldogs of Ada for an outright league championship. But a lot of things can happen. You know, one slip up and it can turn into a situation of, you know, a three-way tie. So a lot of football left before any decision can be made for a Northwest Championship. So that's gonna move Allen East to seven and one on the year, five and zero oh in the Northwest Conference. The Bluffton Pirates go to five and three and four and one in the Northwest Conference. So a great night of football. Allen East on the inside track for a Northwest Conference Championship. For Darren Gilbert, I'm Danny Holbrook, our entire WSN crew. Good night everyone and God bless.